Lakers at the controls right now. To Caldwell Pope. Five on the shot clock. Oh, with the foul and a chance coming up at the line. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. And hits the first free throw. And he makes them both. Teague with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Knock loose. Lakers have it. Turns and slams it down. An easy two. Get back on defense. The Timberwolves have the basketball. Knock loose. Teague. And look out. Oh, right after the dunk, he looks right over towards the bench, gets a call from the coach about what defense they're in, and then gets his team set. Those are people that are able to lead men. In the front court comes Rondo. His guys holding the big lead. Curling inside to James. Oh, he got a piece of it. Just incredible timing on that swap. Caldwell Pope. It's good. Something tells me they'll give him that shot again. Teague with it up top. Looking to make something happen. Rose. Deep left corner. Shot by Teague. Won't go down. It's because he took his eye off his target, Ed. As an offensive player, you have to glare at where the defender's coming to, but quickly redirect yourself to your actual target. He was more consumed with the defender than he was the actual rim. Now a timeout here for the Timberwolves, as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. New blood coming in for both sides. T to Butler. They get it down for Towns. To Butler. Fires the three. That no good off the mark. To James. Gets it in the left corner. Offensive rebound. Oh, and a putback. T Wolves with the basketball. Butler to T. Hey, kick me the ball. Down low for Gibson. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. That's how you defend. To ball. Fires the three. Lonzo ball connects. They sag off someone whose shot is only improving, and Lonzo delivers. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Gets it to go, and the foul. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs... Help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Free throw up and good. It's a three-point play, but a rare spot as they continue to trail big. LBJ with it. Inside, he scores. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show, because that's what you're watching right now. 
right down the lane with the shot. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. In an era where big centers often get devalued, Carl Anthony Towns is a true foundational player. He can function as a traditional center, but also can show you quick moves around the perimeter and knock down that three-point shot from deep. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. <laughs> he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. Free throws good. Add one more to the total. This game feels out of reach. It's Minnesota basketball. T. Off the mark. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end. That makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. Has a chance. He's looking for that touch. T. Great pass to set it up. Butler and the Lakers have the rebound. Right down Broadway for the two. Defender has to pick him up. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was a look of a three-point play. You always going in think you can get more at the rim. Andrew Wiggins, no one in the Canadiens' postal code with the basket. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Goes to the left side to James. Rondo hits it and the foul. And a chance now at a four-point play. And body control is everything, especially on the defensive side of the floor. That was a great contest up top, but your body hit him on the way down. That's a foul every time. Got it from the line. Minnesota at the controls. T to Towns. Takes stock of the floor. Good on the layout. You see the great playmakers see the shot before it ever happens. They recognize how they were being guarded on the previous set and then they make the necessary adjustments. Rondo. And it's Butler with the rebound. Gets off the three. At the buzzer. And he's going to the line to shoot two. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. First try at the line. No good. That one won't go. One more to come. And he goes one for three on this trip to the line. Western Conference champions. After a long, grueling season, they're now headed to the NBA Finals. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Timberwolves weren't able to advance after that tough loss. I got a sense they didn't expect for their offseason to start just yet. 
I know what the feeling's like, and it can be tough. But it's all about how you come back from it. Who knows what they'll be like next season? It'll be interesting to see for sure. The Timberwolves got their score from the guys you're seeing here on screen. Game track. Three-point shooting. The Los Angeles Lakers kept going on bombing runs, finishing with a significant number of three-point baskets. Offensively, it allowed them to stay confident and ultimately got them a well-deserved win. Player of the game. LeBron James could not have been more impressive in this game. The way he scored the basketball looked like he was playing with kids in high school. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Number one. That does it for us. On behalf of the rest of the crew, good night.